I'm Dan Cummins. As we turn the page to 2024, there may be some projects going on in this area that you'd like to know about. So we, we invited Mike Panuski uh, from the Lucas County uh, Engineering to come down. First of all, uh, give me an idea. I was not aware that, that you have an elected position. Uh, give me an idea of where this, this position engineering equates with the county commissioners and all the other things we vote for every year. Yeah, Lucas County Engineer is an elected position. It's been an elected position since the beginning of Ohio, since 1803. And uh, every four years, um, I have the privilege of putting myself out there to, to run for office, and I'll be running in 2024. Oh, do, do you campaign? Do you kiss, kiss babies and stuff? Sure, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's just like being any other any other person who's an elected official. You know, you have to figure out and talk to the public and see what they want and need and try to develop a program to try to make our community better. So, Mike, uh, what are some of Lucas County's biggest needs right now? What, what, are, you, what are you looking for here in this next 12, 12 months? Well, right now, um, one of our big pushes is in terms of uh, transportation and traffic safety. And the county engineer's office, in coordination with three other counties in northwest Ohio, so Wood County and Ottawa County and Sandusky County, we applied to the federal government to get a grant to put together a transportation safety action plan. And what that is, is we're taking a holistic look at our transportation system, all of our roadways, um, no matter whether you're in any of those four counties and seeing what we can do to make our roads safer. So uh, we're in the middle of that process right now. Um, we've engaged a consultant to be able to do that. And right now we're at the kind of point where we want some public input. So uh, right now, if you go to our website at www.lucascountyengineer.org, go right on the top, you'll see the link, uh, click on that link, and then it opens up a big map of the four county areas. And you can take a look at your own neighborhood or your own area and let us know what things you think need to be done in terms of making our roads safer. Now you live in this area, so you obviously know some parts of it. What are some things on your radar that you see and likely will need attention? Yeah, so for, for our area, we do a lot of uh, trans uh, in terms of our transportation safety, in terms of statistics. We look at a lot of crash data, traffic data, to see where, where we need our roads uh, need to be um, improved to make them safer. Uh, a lot of ways are things that people expect. So they could be major thing, major roadways, major intersections that may need some improvements to make them a little bit safer. Um, one of the big things that we do in the county engineer's office is we, we've changed typical signalized intersections into roundabout intersections. And then the reason why we put those in is because it allows, uh, that makes those intersections safer. Uh, so a normal intersection has up to 32 points of conflict. So it's a potential place where people get into a crash. Um, at a roundabout intersection, there's only eight. And the really important thing about it is that it slows down traffic. So most injuries, most of the accidents that cause uh, deaths and serious injuries are those that occur at high speed. So if we can slow people down going through those intersections and those point of conflicts, we save lives. And those, those type of things that we look for. Infrastructure, uh, I know it was a, a big topic when we had or just nationally uh, aging bridges collapse, things like that. Are you seeing, are these things that you deal with or depends on where they are? Yeah, no, that's absolutely true. Um, you know, it, it's, it's difficult for a, for a roadway agency. We only have so much money to be able to improve and to, and to maintain our roadways. Our roadways are, um, most of them are over 100 years old. Uh, our bridges, the average age of our bridge is about 60 to 75 years old. And they're really starting to see the end of their useful life. And uh, it's a challenge for all of us as um, road officials to be able to see what needs the most, try to allocate our limited money to the places where we can do the most good, and to try to make our dollars go as far as we can. And also, I know during the, uh, the Build Back Better and the federal government's been throwing money at, at states and counties. Uh, were we getting any money and is that going to be, need to be used? It'll dry up then? Yeah, so right now the uh, bipartisan infrastructure law, we're currently in year two, the five year period for the bipartisan infrastructure law. We have received monies um, from, that, from that program in our area um, to basically make our roads better. Um, this transportation safety action plan is actually part of the bipartisan infrastructure law. And when this plan is finished and we actually identify a suite of projects that we can build, build on to make our roads safer, we can actually take that list and, and get more federal money um, through, through the uh, Safer Streets and Bridges for All program to bring more money into our region. So uh, there's a lot of programs and a lot of grants that we're continuously applying for to bring as much money as we can to make our roads safer for our citizens. To make things much better in Lucas County. All right, Mike, thanks very much for coming in. Mike Panuski of Lucas County Engineers.
Thank you.